hello guys welcome back to another video tutorial in this video i'm gonna teach you how you can install visual studio 2022 on your windows 10 operating system so let's get started to install it on your operating system so i'm gonna write visual studio inside the search engine then the first link has been appeared with the name of visual studio.microsoft.com you need to open that Inside this page have many versions like uh, Windows, a Mac and Linux. So I have a Windows so I'm gonna select this one version and has three versions community version, professional enterprise. So I'm gonna use community version because I want to use that on my PC as a developer. So uh, click to start download and open it click to yes and then you will able to see setup has been appeared on your screen as you can see visual studio installer click to continue and then you will able to see which features you will use inside the visual studio so i will use c sharp and i will create a desktop based application if you want to use any uh, project inside visual studio then you will select uh, the particular version or particular uh, language inside your vs code editor right and this is an old code editor right inside this page have uh, which package you want to install on your uh, visual studio like asp.net web development inside there have uh, many things like html javascript asp.net core asp.net here is the many versions on there and as you can see but i'm gonna select this one version all right click on that once you click that then in the right side have a many details which included inside the dotnet desktop uh, development right so once you select any package if you want to select multiple packages you can do that for example i'm going to select this one but you will get the mini space in in the right side have a 7.85 gb you need to install this one those versions but i leave this one then my total space will be get this one installation six point more than seven gb right then the next thing i'm going to change if you want to change that but i leave that you can change the location to install that so i'm going to select that so this is a c program file so do you want to change that you can do that i'll leave that right then the next thing have a uh, individual components if you want to select any particular version on there you can select that but i'll leave that and in the next section i have a language pack so i'm gonna select the english and this is the installation process so i think everything is perfect on there so i'm gonna install it and we need to wait so i'm gonna click on that so it's take a time to install on your operating system it depend on your internet speed so once the downloading will complete then i will teach you another process so wait guys i think it should be complete in a minute so we will able to use that on our operating system so we need to wait a few seconds i think yes okay as you can see guys this is a microsoft visual studio 2022 so just a minute i'm gonna close this one and inside this page have a, if you have account of microsoft you can click to sign in otherwise you can skip this for now and inside this page have a 
themes which theme you want to use on your vs code i like dark theme if you want to change that you can select anyone as you want so i'm going to select dark and click to start visual studio and then we need to wait uh, for opening a vs microsoft visual studio right so create a new project so i'm going to show you continue with the old code so here is a interface after installing and opening the vs visual studio microsoft visual studio so i'm going to close this one page and click to new project inside this page we need to select to which one you want to use that which application you will use inside the vs microsoft visual studio so i'm gonna select a uh, console app and say so they have a c sharp linux mac os x so here is the many other things if you want to create a desktop application like windows form application so you can select this one this time i'm going to select console app click next write the name i'll leave that everything if you want to change any name you can do that this is a solution name this name will appear on there and if you want to change the location you can click on that and um, change the location i leave that and click next and this is a dot net version 6.0 and I'm going to click to create and we need to wait and we will able to use C sharp in our scheme as you can see guys so I want to run this one project and it will display on the you need to wait it should be display as you can see hello world so let's uh, create a simple application and we will calculate two values and we will display the value inside our label tag with the help of on click so let's create a project so i'm going to select the windows form application and earlier we have used uh, console.a but this time I'm going to use windows form application click next and next create a project so we will get the two input text field one button and one label right so I go to toolbox and I need to get text box and label right and button tag right so let's see i use this thing on there copy past right and this well our level not level this is our button and this is our value we will are uh, getting the value one and second input text fields and we will display the value on there so i don't need to display the label one text on there so let's see and i change the name i'm gonna use calculate right so let's see double click on that so first of all i need to get the value from first input text field so i call int a and call equal to um, parse not parse int dot parse parenthesis text box dot text and b equal to int dot parse text box to txt right once you get the value and i want to display the text inside the label tag so i'm going to call label.txt assign the value a addition by b so let's see mm, okay i'm going to calculate that 
and call a addition b right then i call this one variable on there okay dot convert into into to string right i want to display the text number in the level okay, just a moment mm, dot to string it should be display yes so and let's run this one project so we will add the value first and second input text field and we will display the value on the 10 plus 10 calculate 20 as you can see guys so this is a very simple way to install the visual studio on windows 10 operating system i just show you how you can create a simple app right so thank you very much for watching have a nice day